we're working on, once again, using the average cost method, the FIFO method, and the LIFO method, all three methods that we covered in this, in this lesson. Um, they're giving us an, a situation. Notice, don't just write down the answers I give you because I've changed the numbers here so that you have a chance to do it on your own. But I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. It says, at the end of the month, 80 packages of windshield wipers were on hand. That's what they had left. Find the ending inventory value using the average cost method, the first in, first out method, and the last in, first out method. And here are our items right over here. Okay, so it tells us how many units they received, what the cost per unit was, what the total cost of each order was. Okay, so we have these totals here. Okay, <clears throat> they totaled the items for us, they didn't total the cost, which if we're using the average cost method, we need to know what was the total price of the items we bought. So we're going to do part A first. We're going to use the average cost method. And if you look at those, my sheet's not active, it's a screenshot. <laughs> These sticky notes will remind you what each method was, but I also I will remind you. Okay, so we're going to find our total down here so we know how much we spent on the items we ordered. All right, we have $2,709 when we total up all of our orders, they were $2,709, okay? We know we had 280 total, so we need to find the average cost for each item. So again, you take the total cost divided by the total units you've received. And that this case, that's two hundred and excuse me, two thousand seven hundred and nine dollars divided by we've received two hundred and eighty items. Okay, so the average cost is nine dollars. 9.675 is our average cost here. Okay, remember to leave, use that full number. We want the amount left over. It says at the end of the month they had 80 packages left, so we multiply that by 80 because this is the average cost of our item times 80, and we get $774. Okay, so in this blank I would put $774. Using the average cost method, the value of our inventory that's left is $774. Okay, I'm going to clear this out so we can do the other two methods. So if you need to write that down, make sure you pause to do that. I'm giving you warning. I'm going to clear this out so I have room to do the next method. Okay. All right, so next we're doing the FIFO method. That means first in, first out. So it means we start by selling the first items we received. So we received on the first, we received 90, we would sell those. On the eighth, we received 70 more, we'd sell those. The last ones we sell would be these here. This is our total items. We don't worry about that right now. Okay. Um, so here's where our last item sold. Now we sold that we had 80 left over. So if there's 80 left over, it's going to be from this 120 here, okay? Because that's the last items we sell. So that means we sold 40 of these and had 80 of them left over, okay? We want to know what was the price of the items in our inventory, the price left over. 
We had 80 left over. We know they come from this group, so we know they had to be $9.85 each. And we get $788. So that's a faster method, notice. Okay, first in, first out. If that's the inventory method we're using, the, the uh, inventory is worth $788. Okay, so these are all valid ways that people use. It just depends on the company as to which one they would use. Okay, again, I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen. So if you need to take notes on that. Okay. Our last one is the LI last in first out method. So and remember in the last in first out method, this one we start at the top, the bottom, and work our way up. The last ones in are the first ones we sell. Okay. So on this one we start selling these 120, then we sell these 70, and finally sell the last 90. So if we have 80 left over, this time the 80 is going to come from here. It's going to mean we sold 10 of these and had 80 of them left over because we're going from last in, first out. We start at the bottom and go up. Okay, so our remaining inventory, there were 80 items. They came from this group, okay, because we sell those last in the last in, first out item. <clears throat> Okay, so 80 times $9.50 is $760. So the price of our inventory, or the value of our inventory, if we use LIFO method, is $760. So these are all ways to find out how much is our last 80 worth that we had. Down here, they want you to explain why are they different. Okay, and one thing you might notice is we multiplied by something different every time. We had 80 items, but we multiplied by a different value. Okay, so this I want you to put in your own words. Why were the values different? The basic reason is that with the average cost method, you're using the average cost of the items to find your value. Okay, so that's, you have a different price for each time. This one, the average cost, you use the average price as your cost. The FIFO, you use the, the price of the last items that are left. And the LIFO, you use the price of the first items. <laughs> okay, So that is the difference. I want you to put that in your own words the best that you understand it and explain it. Okay, So we do, notice we do get different numbers here. It's because we multiplied by a different price each time, and that's because we use a different price depending on which method we're working with.